through the hole. Time to go back to camp now, said Sergeant Crump. But nobody could remember the way. Oh dear, said Captain Dingo, I am so thirsty. I know the way, said Willie. I he looked pleased and marched in front of the soldiers. He led things you can do when you leave school. I'd like to be a dancer, but not many dancers wear glasses. Not thick glasses like mine. Good. I can't see properly without them. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've been promised a super job when I leave school. Good. I know a boy called Mark who works in a big school. Mm -hmm. Not a school for children, but his father ride, father's, father's riding, riding school. school. It it's isn't not it isn't too far away and I spend a lot of time helping him with the horses. Early one morning I cycled there and Good. saw Mark trying to start his father's old sporting car. Sports car. Sports car. Do, Do you, you want, want to push? push? I laughed. Whir, whir, clang, bang. At last the old car started. Hello, Samantha, yelled Mark, above the banging and clanging. Good. I was hoping you'd come. What I yelled back. Oh, get in, Mark yelled. I ex I'll, I'll explain, explain later. The, the old, old car banged, banged and spluttered spluttered along, along the winding, winding country, country lanes. lanes. How far are we going? I yelled. Valley Farm, shouted Mark. Well, we'll, we'll never, never get, get there. there. I, I laughed. You, you wait, wait, Mark yelled. yelled. I've, I've got, got to fetch a horse. You can ride him back for me. Good. Although, Although it didn't, didn't go fast, the old car got, got very hot. That by the time we reached Valley Farm, the engine was hussing and hissing, hissing and, and steaming. steaming. Hello, Hello Mark, called, called the farmer. farmer. Tall, Tall boy is re ready for you. I climbed out. The nice stand stared. stared in the in yard. The yard stood, stood an on old an old hunter. hunter. He was the most. And now, Ovaltine, that super delicious drink that builds bright minds and strong bodies eight ways presents the Radio Adventure Hour. You are about to hear a series of strange, exciting, and perilous, perilous adventures that will lead us to, to all parts of the world. But first, we take you to France. The war has reached a moment of crisis. The Allied army is close to terrible destruction. Destruction. In a small bomb-proof dugout, the light of a candle flame flickers across the strained face of a general of the Allied Army. Outside, the night is dark and cold. Suddenly, we hear Major Steele. Sir, Sir everything is prepared. You found the man? I have. What's his name? No. 
It's better that I don't know. I agree with you, sir. There are only two people in the world who know the mission to which he has been assigned. Good. <clears throat> you and your leader in Washington. Good yes, job. sir. Major, do you think he has a chance? <clears throat> I'm afraid the odds are against him about 100 to 1. All right. If he fails, it will be terrible for us all. It will, but enough of that. Bring him in. Yes, sir. Wait, I don't want to see his face. Blow out the candle. Yes, sir. Now bring him in. Good job. Yes, sir. Will you come in, Captain? The man is before you, sir. You have your... In... in instructions. instructions. Yes, yes sir. sir. Then I want you to be sure... To you. I want you to be sure... You understand the risks you are facing. I do. If you fail tonight, it will be the end for all of us. If you are successful, our country will be saved from defeat. Do you understand? I do. Also, if you succeed tonight, you will have started a long and perilous task that, if you live, may require your lifetime to complete. Is that clear? Yes, General, very clear. Above all, you understand that the ultimate purpose Good. is the exter... exter... Extermination. Extermination of the most rascally and menacing criminal in the world. A traitor to the United States. A fiend who has cost the lives of thousands of your countrymen. I am speaking of the worthwhile to try to turn it to some valuable account. The thought came to me the next morning and was suggested by my seeing one of my knights who was in the soap line come riding in. Good. According to history, the monks of this place two centuries before had been worldly minded enough to want to wash. Mm -hmm. It might be that there was a le le leaven, leaven. leaven of, of this, this unrighteousness, unrighteousness still remaining. remaining. So, so I sounded, sounded a, a brother. brother. Good. Wouldn't you like a bath? He shuddered at the thought, the thought of the peril of Good. it to the well. But he said with feeling, one needs not to ask that of a poor body who has not known that blessed refreshment, said that right. he was a boy. Would God I might wash me? But it may not be, fair sir, tempt me not, it is forbidden. Right. And then he sighed in such a sorrow, sorrowful way yes. that I was resolved he should have at least one layer of his real estate removed. Right. If it sized up my whole in. In, in influence oh, influence mm -hmm. and, and bankrupted, bankrupted the pile. pile. So I went to the abbot and asked for a permit for this brother. He 
flinched, flinched at the idea. I don't mean that you could see him blanch, for of course you couldn't see it without you scraped him. And, and I didn't care enough about it to scrape him, but I knew the blanch was there just the same. Good. And, and within, within a book, book cover's thickness of the, of the surface, too, blanched and trembled. Right. He, he said, Ah, son, ask aught mm -hmm. else thou wilt, and it is thine, and freely granted out of a grateful heart. Right. But this, oh this, would you drive away the blessed water again? Yes. That was mm. interesting. The wording was different. Than yeah, I think it's like old English from like Shakespeare. Okay. In yeah. writing. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's right here. Okay. No, Father, I will not drive it away. I have mis mysterious mm -hmm. knowledge which teaches me that there was an error that other time when it was thought the institution of the yes. bath banished ban banished the, the fountain. fountain. A, A large, large interest began to show up in the old man's face. My knowledge informs me that the bath was innocent of that misfortune, which was caused by quite another sort of sin. Right. These are brave words, but, but right welcome if they be true. They are true indeed. Let me build the bath again, Father. Let me build it again, and the fountain shall flow forever. Right. You promise this. You promise it. Fish and chips. Lovely. And now to relax for the evening. Oh, hang on, hang on. Just... She's got to read. What? She's got to oh. read. The school have said she's got to read. I don't so want to read. That's all right. I'll have the television on. Very low. Won't what interfere at all. Where's your book? I don't want to read. Get your book. I where? don't like reading with you your mum. Where have you put it? I don't know. I haven't got it. Well, get it out. You know where it is. You must know, know where it is. It's there. Look, you do know it's there. Have get all, it. After all, do as your mother tells you. Just get that book. Hurry up. Get that book. Get the book. I don't want uh, this book. It's not my hang book. On. It's a book you got. It's a hang on. Book. How long is this going to be? I want to watch the television. I want well, to I don't know how long she's supposed the to do. The football I'm is going up and around, and we are not I'm finishing going that. Going out. I want to. And the car wants the some petrol in. Are you going oh, in the car? Oh, you've not left me with no petrol. And there might be a flat tire. Come on. Where were you? I don't know. What time are you going? You have to find it. I don't know where I was. I don't want to read. You can't count numbers, can you? Come on. I don't want to read it's that there. book. It's there. Mm. Hold it. You hold it. I'm not holding it. Open it up. See, see, hang on. What time are you going? Where's half now. past? Half, half, yeah, past. half past. We're not spending it. Listen, they put the programmes half, half an hour forward tonight. We want the football results on soon. Shut up and let the child read. 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 Get Can on. I watch telly? Read. She, she wants to watch telly. Mm. Look at this stupid picture. Never mind the picture. Look she at the she words. should be reading at school, not at home. This I'd rather read is supposed to help her. Read. Hurry up and Come get on, on with the word. Hair. Hurry up. It isn't hair. It is. It, it says hair. not hair. Her. E. What is it? Come on. It's an E. He. R. Or R, whatever they call it. Come on. He. What is it? R. There, go on. He. R. Air. Here. Move on. Come on. 
are the... Come on, kill. you're one of them. Kill... Killed. Shh. Kill... 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 Kill...